What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. Hold on, this thing's too loud. Let me turn this off. What's up, Zombie Slayers? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, and we're going to be doing some horde base work today. Um, first things first, though, I am down here in the mine doing some work. I haven't looked at my inventory yet. Oh, wow. Okay. Three and a half stacks of iron. That's eh, pretty nice. Got some stone, a little bit of lead, very little bit of nitrate, and we probably got some coal floating around here too. That's pretty sweet. I really need the iron very badly because I would like to start making everything steel um, in my horde base. Uh, I don't know how much we'll be able to make steel today, but we've got some work to do. Um, first things first, the battle axe is not a replacement for the machete. I don't know why I thought it was, um, but it's not. It's a replacement for the axe. Now, some people are mentioning the fact that who cares if it's a replacement for the axe, you can always... I don't know why I'm up here. I thought this is how I'm supposed to get out, but... I, oh, yeah, right there. There we go. I gotta eventually build something down here, like, that shows where to go and everything, but that's neither here nor there. Um, all right, so I was looking at the chainsaw. Some people were like, you can make the chainsaw. So who cares about the axe? Just make the freaking chainsaw. You know what's, you know what, you know what it is? I don't want to sacrifice the engine. Yeah, I don't, I don't have enough engines, so I'm not going to be making the chainsaw. I'm going to stick with the axe. It's pretty dope. It's not like I'm going to have problems with stamina or anything while cutting down trees. I will eventually make the chainsaw, but, you know, just not really that big of a deal at the moment. All right, the next thing I need to do is there's a hole in the base somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's right over here. So one of the zombies got in because there's a hole in the base, and, uh, you know, I don't really care that much about that, to be honest. Uh, until I like, get spikes around here, they're going to get in when I'm down in the mines. There's just no two ways about that, because I'm, I'm not up here, so they're going to get in. All right, so I also have made a shotgun, which we are not going to use until Horde Night. You guys are going to have to wait for Horde Night for that, uh, but it's going to be pretty freaking dope. <laughs> it's going to be a monster. It really, really is. All right, so let me gather all my materials, gather my thoughts, and uh, let's go. Let's go do some work on the base, man. We got to make this horde base ready. Tomorrow will be horde night. Should be a lot of fun. All right, here we are doing some work on the horde base. I've got a couple ideas, couple of problems, got to solve, and I got to take out this freaking hatch because I've been meaning to take out this hatch for a while. Um, I'm kind of like the, the, there's two concerns I have right now: the door, the doorway, and the cop puke. Okay. Because the cop puke is going to come up on different angles, and I need to make sure my traps are, you know, protected from all angles. Although, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I've decided this is what I'm going to do as far as intellect tree. For those who have not been watching every video, really quickly, um, I want advanced engineering three for electrician because I want to be able to make electric fence and blade traps. They're incredibly important to my defense. But I was trying not to go intellect, intellect six. Well, actually, I'd have to go intellect five because I already have the uh, nerd the nerd glasses. So. Um, I didn't want to go into like six. I decided that I have not been getting the, the I have not been getting the schematics to make the items I need, and they also haven't been on the traders enough. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into like six. All right, now here's what I'm gonna do. If I find, hopefully I will find the schematics to make the electric fence, the blade traps, and all that good stuff. If slash when I do, I'm gonna take the forgetful elixir and respect my character. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. So, I am also going to put a, a dart trap at the beginning or end or whatever, way down there, shooting this way. And this thing should block it. Um, I should probably test that, like, right now. Um, although I really don't have to, because you know what? I'm not going to have a blade trap anyway by, Hor by Horde Knight down there. So, I will break this out. But eventually what I could do is I could put, I could put this in there. The dart, I'm sorry, dart trap. The dart trap will be on the other end of this, shooting towards me. But this thing in the middle should block the darts i will test it when i decide to use it it probably won't be for this horde night but it probably will be for the next horde night um so yeah i'm gonna break this out now because it doesn't really need to be here so there we go all right so all right well let's get to works one of the problems i have with this base is that i want the zombies to get stuck here and bash on my door the thing is, if I have the zombies get here and bash on my door, I'm gonna have to build something here, and I'm not. It's gonna it's gonna restrict my ability to shoot the zombies. But I don't know. I think I think I might give it a shot. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, right now, I'm gonna put down the blade traps, and I'm gonna put one here and here. All right. I was thinking about putting them both on the outside, uh, and I could do that. The thing is, if the if the enemy breaks up this trap, if there's gonna be a a platform underneath and they'll be able to walk up to my wall and hit my wall uh i'm not going to worry about that right now but i might want to move this to the outside lane now you might be saying well cage the outside lane you're not gonna be able to repair the blade traps are too far 
Not true. Check this out. Blade traps on the outside lane. Boom. I can repair it. Now, here's the problem with repairing the blade traps on the outside lane as opposed to the inside lane. The inside lane will be a lot easier because the zombies won't be in the way. Think of it. Like, if I have, like, 50 zombies on this, on this platform, there's a chance that I might not be able to repair that in time. But, honestly, I don't really think that's going to be the case. But, we'll see. I kind of like one one-on-one -on -one and the other on the other side. Let's go ahead and do that. That side's looking good. So that takes care of the blade traps. And we talked about the dart trap right here. I don't have a dart trap to go on the opposite end, so I'm not even going to bother with that right now. I think what I want to do is I want to get down, and we got to start looking at cop puke angles. Okay? So when I'm up there, cops can be puking from all different kinds of angles. Now, they could be puking from the... Yeah. Okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do. I'm going to make some more plates. Okay, and you see right here, the cop could puke at me from here and break out that electric fence. That's not going to work for me. So, copy rotation. Okay, it doesn't have anything to hold on to, so I'll put it there. There. And we'll do one more. And I'll do it on this side as well. On face. Okay, come on. Here, you know what? Let's just nerd pull up there. It'll be easier. I'll do it right here okay and then we put this right here copy rotation there there and i'm debating on how i want to do it out here i think i'm going to go on face then copy rotation i'm gonna bring it on face there we go and then copy rotation i didn't put it down first okay there and there then we'll put this here here okay now uh on th well, see i can't put that on face because i gotta be able to get to that dart trap okay um i think that looks pretty good now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take the hatches and i'm gonna use the hatches uh on face to be able to get in and deal with these things um i should be able to just put a hatch right there and be done with it um, but it's, it's a little tough. It's not... There we go. Hatch right there. And then I can open that up. Now, let's pretend... Let's just pretend for a minute. Hold on, R. Let's just pretend for a minute that all those plates are upgraded and th the, the only way to look in there is from the hatch. So, if I open up the hatch, I can get to... Yep, I can get to the, the electric fence from that angle. I can get to this from this angle. And I could get to this from this angle, and I could also get to the one on the bottom. Okay, that should be good. I think we should be able to put plates around every other spot to really fully protect these. All right, so let me show you what I got going on here. All right, so I got this set up right here. Um, originally, I was setting it up like on this end, right? And this has got plates all around it, all the way around it, all sides. Okay, I figured why not, right? There's no reason not to. I use that door to get in there to uh, repair, refill, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to leave this plate off. I'm going to leave these plates off for now and see if I can get away with that because it would make it a lot easier to refill the everything. But with the way I have this set up, I should be able to get over here ever so carefully. And... Oh boy! All right, it's not gonna be that easy. It's not gonna be that easy, that's for sure. But I, I can definitely get in there and I can reach everything, and that's the important thing. It might be a challenge, but I can do it. I can reach that. If I come down from an angle, I can reach that. I might have to break this off and put it on sideways, you know, because um, I might have trouble reaching stuff in the back. Uh, no, no, I can kind of reach everything. All right, so that's good. So that one's cool, but we had to adjust on the one over here, right? Because the one over here, I need to be able to get to that right there to be able to repair it. Okay. Um, let me see if I can... I don't know if that did any damage to it. Doesn't look like it hit it. But, yeah, there we go. So now I can repair that. So that's the that's the end line of the electric fence. So I need to be able to get to that so I can repair it because that's the part that takes damage. And I want to keep that going. All right. I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, should I hook up the blade traps now, or should I wait? I mean, it should be pretty easy to hook them up. It's just, it's, it all depends on how, like, neat I want the wiring to look. Um, I also need to make sure they're gonna, I'm gonna be able to do this. Uh, those repair, yeah, those blade traps take, like, uh, 
take like what, like forty power each? I might not be able to run them all. Here, you know what? Let's hook, let's hook them up now. The earlier we know if there's going to be a problem, the better off we'll be. All right, all right. So, um, let's just go right there, right? Yeah, it seems pretty good. And then we're going to grab my wiring tool. All right, and then we're going to come over here and grab the electricity from here. And then, oh, that's going to, it's not on, is it? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Those blade traps will F me up. Uh, I should have known it wasn't on because that one W is not, you know, active. Now, sh I should probably have these set up separately. Because if one blade trap gets knocked out and they're daisy chained, then the other one will get knocked out as well. So we'll do that. Oh, they're only 20 watts each. Okay, I thought they were 40 for some reason. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is going to a slice and dice. Hell, yeah. I'm trying to think of some other ways I could do this. I, I think that all looks pretty good to me. I'm not going to step out there. But we are at 69 watts, so we're probably... I, the thing is, the dart traps aren't active. Do the dart traps draw power, even if they're not active? I honestly don't remember. We do have a spare engine. I'm just going to put the engine in there. Now we can go up to 150 watts. I'm pretty sure this will, everything will be okay with this. All right, so that's all looking pretty good. I'm going to knock out these spikes. I don't think I want to have spikes on this walkway. I want to have electric fence. Now, electric fence is going to be a little bit... Oh, I don't have electric fence, can I? I can't make it either. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Need that freaking advanced engineering. Well, I do have one point, so we're, get, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, there's nothing else I can do here with the traps because I don't simply have any more traps. I have one more blade trap. That I could probably put out here if I wanted to. I don't really want to sacrifice blade traps though. If a blade trap is out here and I cannot repair it, it will eventually get destroyed. Well, the thing is, when a blade trap does damage to an enemy, it takes damage itself. Eventually, the blade trap will stop being used. And then, theoretically, the zombies should just walk right by it and not mess with it. But they might accidentally hit it and stuff. Um, I think if I put a blade trap out here, I'm kind of playing with fire. So, you know what? I need I need levels. And I also need to upgrade, so I think now would be a great time to upgrade. Oh boy, um, how much more concrete do I have? A decent amount. A decent amount. Let's go ahead and take care of this right here as well. We did gain a level 62, which is awesome. I'll go home and get my nerd glasses pretty soon, and I will start specking into intellect. Um, I think the best way to do it, unless you just want to like stay with intellect for challenge sake, and, and you know, it is a challenge, and I do kind of like that, but at the same time, like it really... You know, <laughs> I, I don't like not being able to use traps. It's a tower defense game. And, like, for me not being able to use traps the way I want to really just kind of, like, irks me. I can't I can't deal with it. Um, it'll cost me 35,000 dukes because I will respec at some point. But, you know what? I am perfectly fine with that. I do have some steel, so I could probably upgrade some of this to steel. But I don't really think that it's going to have a huge impact right now. Um... I'm really worried more about when we get Demolisher, so I'm just going to save up that steel. And we will eventually upgrade the steel. 
uh, I just, you know, it just depends on when. And a lot of people are saying to, like, for, to upgrade down here because they broke in. The, guys, the only reason they broke in down... I'm going to upgrade it anyway, but it's not, like, a huge deal. The only reason they broke in was because I messed up on the spikes last time I played. That's totally, totally 100% on me. And if I get enough levels, I might be able to actually uh, make some more fence posts. Uh, you know what? Let me tell you what I'm thinking about with the fence posts really quick. So over here, um, I could also extend this extend this out. I think I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. Um, I will put some dart traps on the edge right here, pointing this way. Uh, I can always move them later. It's not really a big deal. And what I want to do is behind the dart traps, I want to put an electric fence. Okay. Now the electric fence won't make it all the way down to the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, plates on this side, plates on this side, one ramp, one ramp. And then one electric fence in between. I just don't know how daisy chained electric fences go. Like, let's say the first part of the electric fence is right here. I bring the wire all the way out here and start the, the, the line right here. All right. So electric fence here, electric fence here, going to another electric fence. Will this be the one taking all the damage or the one in the middle be taking all the damage? Honestly, I don't know how that works. I'm going to have to ask some people in the know. Some people have, like, you know, studied all this stuff uh, about that. Because it's really important that I know how that works. Worst comes to worst, I might have to put two... You might not be able to daisy chain electric fences anyway. You know? I, I haven't tried it. I know I've done it in the past. Then you guys are going to say, well, Cage, in, in season blah, 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 you did it. How did you forget? Well, it's, it's been a long time. I've played a lot of games in the past. <laughs> in the You know, in between. So... You know, I just I just don't remember that stuff, so. I kind of want to turn this all into steel. But I'm not 100% sure if this is going to stay exactly the way it is right now. It probably will. But steel is very, very difficult to remove. Um, and I don't see any reason to do it right now. Uh, so, I will hold on to my steel. Alright, so I'm going to have the first three blocks down here. Full concrete. And then above that is going to be cobblestone. And I will continue upgrading this as we go along. I still have a lot of concrete. The thing is, I like to be very careful with it. So I have it where I really, really need it more than anything else. Um, so what we're going to do now is... We're going to take this and we are going to cobble... I'll, I'll probably make that fourth level concrete before Horde Night. Um, unless it's... Uh, you know what? To hell with it. Let's just do it now. Yeah, it, it makes sense. Because I, I, one of those blocks are broken out. That block right there was actually broken out. They can reach up there pretty high. And the cop puke's going to be a problem. This whole thing really needs to be cobblestone sooner rather than later. Which means when I'm out and about, I need to make sure I grab the cobblestone. I know, you got, I know, I know. You guys are like, Cage, I tell you to grab those cobblestone containers every time I see them. And you never do it. Well, that's not fair. Sometimes I do it. I've been doing a lot better with it. You got to admit that. All right. One other thing I'm looking at here is I, want, I went back and watched the last word video. And it seemed where electric fence were concerned, it kind of messed up these jumpy jump blocks a little bit. Zombies are kind of like walking over each other's heads. Uh, I'm probably... I'm not going to upgrade these because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be using them. It does make it harder to hit the zombies in the head. And when I have electric fence, I don't really think I need that. But I will keep them there for the time being. It just probably won't be for very much longer. And what I'm going to do is, because I have no hoppy to hop blocks over here, I'm going to go ahead and put them down here. Which is where they were. There was a set over here before. And I moved them out. I'm just kind of moving stuff around, doing the best I can. And it looks like we're going to have to nerd pull up there. Okay. And then I just need to hook them up again before I... I was like, eh, I'll hook them up later. And I was like, no. No, Cage. You won't. <laughs> you, will, you will forget, my friend. You will. All right. So how did I have this go? So that one's live. That goes over here. That one's live. So this one goes to the one on the end. Okay. Oh, it's red, isn't it? There we go. Okay, wait, what? Oh, no, that's fine. And then this... I'll make this stuff look prettier at a later date. F uh, form over... No, function over form. Form over function. <laughs> yeah, let's just make sure that's hooked up properly before we do anything else. I always forget how to get up here. I always leave myself like 50 ways to get up here. I gotta make an underground entrance on this thing. That's what I have to do. Because that would be really cool. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Let's just um, turn on the generator and make sure it's going to be okay. Yep, looks good to me. Awesome. 
So what I was gonna do is I was gonna take those um I was gonna take that electric fence down and put it out here. But the thing is, I'm gonna need at least three electric fence. Not only that, but I'm not gonna be able to put the electric fence right here, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I'm also gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna set off the dart traps. There's a couple different ways I can set off the dart traps. Okay, I can use trip wire, which really isn't gonna work in this setup. I could use pressure pressure plates, which I do like. I do like um. Uh, what are they? Five by five. Yeah, trigger plates. Five, uh, one by fives. Those are pretty good. The thing is, I'm worried about lag. But these things, I don't think are going to lag me that bad. Plus, I'm on my new computer. It should be okay. So I'll probably use these. The other thing you could use is motion sensors. Um, I'm not a big fan of motion sensors because the beam can see through walls and it could it could trigger stuff when it's not supposed to. And I really don't like that. The other thing I could do is I could put a pressure plate right here. So what I do is once I step on the pressure plate, I set off the dart trap when I want it to be set off. Um, I don't love that one though because then if I, if I step off it to come deal with zombies over here... That dart trap won't be going off, and that's just you know that's not going to work for me. Um, so I think the I think the five by the one by five pressure plates are probably okay. I'm going to need quite a few of them, although I don't have to put them everywhere. I could put them like every like I could have three blocks in between them, and it, it'll just work fine. So should not be a problem. All right, the next thing I would like to do is grab these, and uh, no, nope, you know what? The next thing I want to do is upgrade. Uh, yeah, let's um, yeah, let's do some upgrading. This, uh, well, I guess it can't be anything inside because I can't get to the blocks I need to upgrade by inside. You know what? I'll upgrade off camera. Let me put the spikes down. There we go. Repair the spikes that are already here. There we go. Cool. Uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. I could, what I could do, I want to put a floor down, a reinforced concrete floor. The thing is, I, I mean, I have a lot of concrete, but honestly, it can go pretty fast. I don't really want to use that on something like a concrete floor just yet. I eventually want to get a, co a concrete floor down, but not just yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all these spikes down here for the zombies to fall upon. I think that really served us well uh, last toward night. So we're going to do it again. And I don't know exactly where they fall from, but they, they seem to fall like all along this thing. So we're just going to put these everywhere. Oops. All right, those, thing those things got to go. You got to go, bro. There you go. Um, also, I do want to get in a, a good loot run before next door night. So we will be doing a nighttime loot run again. I kind of like the nighttime loot runs. It, it feels more um, productive, I guess, is the word I'm trying to think of. All right, that's all our spikes. I might not use spikes anymore. Although, the spikes down here do do, do some work. Uh, maybe I can put blade traps down here. The thing is, again, with blade traps... I don't like... Blade traps are too expensive. Even if you're making them, they are really, really expensive. So even if... Um, I don't really want blade traps out of my reach. Is what I'm trying to say. Don't like that. Okay. Uh, one more thing we're going to do before we call this one here. Is we're going to go home. We're going to get some nerd... We're going to get some nerd glasses. And we are going to go ahead and put on the nerd glasses. And then we're going to spec into intellect. We'll probably get the six, I think. Or... I don't know if we're going to get the six. I thought I was at five, but honestly, I don't know. We might get the six. We might not. Um, and then we're going to just make a beeline because I want to make fences and, and blade traps and stuff. And I do not want to have to wait for, you know, traders to have them in stock or, you know, uh, the luck of whatever to get them. It's just awful. There we go. How's this thing doing? All right. This thing's doing okay. Um, by the way, I have been making iron dart trap ammo. Uh, I don't know what I want to make next. I've actually got a lot of steel. I think we're going to do another 100 forged iron. And then we're going to do some more dart trap ammo. There we go. Alright, looking good there. Alright, where's those nerd glasses? Okay. There we go. Let's put these on. Snowberries, get the hell out of here. Uh, there we go, and, yep, we're at four. Damn it. I gotta get all the way to six. Son of a bitch. Man, that's gonna be expensive. Well, no, it's not. They're one point each, that's right. Six starts at two points each. So that's, what. okay, one, two, boom, we're at, we're at six. That's right. So, one more point, and I will have electrician. And honestly, I'm almost there. Oh, also, I did put a point in a boomstick before I made the shotgun. I can make blue. Can, can you make purples? I thought you couldn't make purples. 
Uh, die, aim, aim, use fast, just kills. I don't think you can make purples. So putting that extra point there, I don't think is going to give me a purple. But I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I think you can only loot purples. The thing is that the fun pimps change the rules so often that, you know, I just, you know, they've changed the rules like a million times. Like purples drop, purples don't drop, purples drop, pur they back and forth. So, oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.